technology has made the operation of wheeled vehicles so easy that many people tend to take the vehicle for granted. Actually, all vehicles can be broken down into several systems, each performing a separate task, yet complementing each other to make the vehicle perform smoothly. If all the systems in a vehicle were listed in their order of importance, the brake system would have to be one of the systems near the top of the list. As a wheel vehicle mechanic, it is important to remember that the quality of any brake service is always measured in terms of safety. To effectively troubleshoot and perform brake system maintenance, it is essential to have an understanding of basic hydraulic principles. The engine will get a wheeled vehicle rolling, but it takes brakes to stop it. In today's Army, hydraulic brake systems are common, and among those, the ones you're likely to see most often are the drum brake systems used on M151s, the quarter-ton 4x4 utility vehicle the Army has so many of. But there's also another type you need to know about. The M880 one and a quarter ton cargo truck uses drum brakes in the rear, but up front it has a disc brake system. As a wheel vehicle mechanic, you've got a lot of personal interest in making sure those brakes are working because the vehicle whose brakes you maintain or repair, you've got to road test. It's up to you to put safe brake system operation at the top of your list any time you work on hydraulic brakes of any kind. The safe operation of a vehicle and somebody's neck, even your own, could be at stake. For that reason, we'll concentrate on what you need to know about hydraulic brake systems, what they look like and how they operate to help you maintain, troubleshoot and repair them efficiently and safely. When you have viewed this program, you should be able to understand the basic principles of hydraulic brake systems. You should be able to identify the components of the drum brake system used in the M151 and understand its principles of operation. You should also be able to identify the components of a disc brake system like that used in the M880 and understand its principles of operation. In part one of this program, we'll discuss basic principles of hydraulic brake systems that apply to both types of brakes and then discuss the drum brake system used on the M151 vehicle. Part 2 will cover the disc brake system used on the M880 series vehicle. Get a good grip on the basic principles and you'll be in good shape to maintain brakes or troubleshoot and repair any hydraulic brake system you're working on. First, let's look at basic principles of hydraulic systems because these control everything that happens in hydraulic brake systems. Under normal pressures, liquid cannot be compressed. This heavy weight, for example, cannot press the liquid down beyond its original level. It is, however, putting force on the liquid. This force acts in all directions, putting pressure on the weight itself and on the